We do have a big change, and you know we uh, we've increased the size of the department uh, probably by over 50 uh, percent. We're going to have about 800 new employees coming in. So uh, what this means is forestry, soil and water, the the state bedding inspection program, and the grade A milk program have been uh, realigned with the Department of Agriculture. Did been it makes I think perfect sense if you look at how state government ought to be organized. Uh, in the case of forestry. Uh, one of our largest agricultural commodities in the state, uh, somebody that we work very closely with, and if you think about it, there are very few farms in North Carolina that don't have some type of forest resources uh, on them. So uh, and then if you look at soil and water, uh, how many farms are they out there without soil? And uh, I know in my experience as a farmer, soil conservation is an integral part of any farming operation out there, and it's important for the future, so uh, that makes perfect sense too. Uh, we already do the inspection of uh, the manufactured milk products uh, in North Carolina and our food and drug division is recognized as one of the top in the nation. So once again, there's synergy there. Uh, we hope, we're hopeful down the road that we can uh, to get to the point that we only make, make one inspection of the processing facilities and the farms as opposed to the two that happen now. So we think there's a, there's a lot of uh, efficiency there. Uh, the state bedding inspection program is something that we weren't really familiar with, but one of the things that uh, is involved in it is bed bugs. Well, you know, we've kind of taken the lead about uh, talking about bed bugs uh, through our uh, pesticide division and uh, home pest inspection division. So, you know, once again, this is a, a good fit and uh, it's something that uh, is going to mesh right in with what we do every day now. Well, you mentioned hundreds of new employees coming into the department. Um, what do you think that they should expect from being in the agriculture department? You know, I, I think what they can expect is the, the family atmosphere that uh, we all enjoy here in the Department of Agriculture, the camaraderie that the employees share every day. Uh, they can also expect to be a part of the state fair, something they probably have never experienced and something that they will thoroughly enjoy uh, as employees of the department. The one so, thing that I have done as commissioner is I have, uh, you know, I have fought at uh, every turn to make sure that uh, the people that are in this Department of Agriculture have the resources and the ability to do their job. And uh, I will continue to do that for the new employees that come in. and. I think uh, I think they will enjoy that. But what what do you think the public can expect from this new arrangement? Well, I think the one thing that they you know they can expect and that I will demand is that we are customer friendly, and, uh, and I think that's the attitude that they're going to see from from all of the uh, different agencies we have in the department, and and, and they can also uh, expect efficiency. Uh, we have had to do uh, more with less here in the department than look for efficiencies, and we're going to continue to do we that. I know there's a lot of synergy and a lot of combinations that we can do that will improve the services on, on not only the agencies that are coming in, but the agencies that have been here for poor. Uh, from that prospect, I'm, I'm really excited about it, uh, being able to, to offer, even, offer even better service to the public for the things that we do with you know, no, uh, no extra cost to the taxpayers.